Hey there cats, good time of the day to you and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to do all the races in GTA 3, which means I'm going to do two races today. Yeah, but one of these races is pretty special, you know, just in case you are not aware of the races that were in GTA 3. Yeah, one of these races are pretty special and this is gonna be the second race. Either way, if you want to skip right through it, take a look in the description and if you don't, here we go, race number one. So here we are, despite the fact that all these guys drive high-end, sport, sporty, how, how, supercars, yeah, that's their name. Yeah, despite the fact that these guys drive supercars and I drive a Diablo Stallion, these people are hardly any sport at all. And a lousy sport at best. But, well, oh, wait a minute. He's actually, he's actually, yeah, he actually took me over, and there he goes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, these guys just can't handle the traffic and, like, well, just as in any other GTA game, I suppose. Anyway, I've actually read online before starting this race, somehow I happened to Google about it for, for a moment, you know, and I've stumbled upon a topic somewhere which literally said that Turismo race in GTA 3 is like uh, next to impossible to do. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's really funny because, you know, it's really darn easy. I mean, it may be hard if you're doing it late into the story when Mafia family actually up to attack you with their crazy car eliminating shotguns. But if you're doing it early in the story, way before Mafia is hostile to you, or if you're installing the mod which renders the Mafia non hunt style to you, this race is really easy. It is a very relaxing drive, you know. It's. Um, I don't know, it's just drive around the first time. As I've said, those guys in their supercars, they're nothing to. Ne next to nothing of a, of a threat. Damn it. Oh, yeah. No, my tongue can't, still can't handle the English quite right. Oh, sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best here. Anyway, what I wanted to say is, uh, damn, GTA 3 is actually pretty damn dark. I mean, I didn't remember it being that dark. I hope you will be able to see something on YouTube because, oh, YouTube has very lousy algorithms which render dark picture even uh, less incomprehensible than the bright picture if you if you've actually noticed it and i've actually noticed it since i'm a creator now oh my videos are losing so much in quality it's unbearable i wish there will, would would have been an option to somehow up the the quality and I actually have an option i i have an idea at least I actually probably should upscale my videos up to 4K, because in 4K YouTube saves more of a bitrate. Even though it's not a 4K after all, there's still more of a bitrate left. Bit rate left. Oh goddammit. Alright, let's go to the next race. And here's a very special race, because as far as I know there is nothing quite like it in any other GTA game so far, but I can't be really sure about GTA 5 because I haven't played it, but as far as I know there is nothing like this race, because it is kinda uh, like make your own route checkpoint race, and this is cool, this is really cool, this is something you could see in Midnight Club Los Angeles, but there is nothing like it in GTA games, as far as I know. Oh! So yeah, this race is very, very special to me. It would have been just, you know, a let down if I wouldn't do it for my channel. Here I come for the checkpoint number three. Here we go. Oh, 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 damn it! Ah! I should have let that cheetah take the turn before actually take the checkpoint. Yeah, he takes this checkpoint from me now. And yeah, by the way, yeah, even though this race is special, the AI in this race is kinda buggy, it can't handle the route, as you could see that cheetah kinda went somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure where, but he failed to take that obvious turn and it is it is normal for this kind of race. I mean for this specific race. 
yeah, as fun as this race was, the AI here was very damn quirky. Oh, I've so wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah, on camera. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really wanted to do it on camera. Oh man, so that's the second checkpoint I've missed. This checkpoint is mine, and this is checkpoint number seven. I'm not sure if this counter actually counts the checkpoints I've took or the checkpoints like you know overall because yeah I'm really not sure 9 of 15 I'm pretty sure I haven't took 9 f checkpoints or oh, have I oh well doesn't matter much oh damn it I took the wrong route I, I forgot I forgot yeah wrong route wrong route all right, all right, this still is a very easy checkpoint as far as I remember. Yeah, right, this is a very easy checkpoint because opponents, you see the AI opponents, they use roots and you can just cut through the grass right here. So yeah, this checkpoint is mine. It's pretty much a safe one. And here I come for the next checkpoint. Back through the grass. Yeah, as, I'm, as I've said, Artificial intelligence here is really damn, you know, is really damn not intelligent. Yeah, because they just can't handle the route quite right. They can't really put a meaningful, how, how a meaningful challenge, you know, a meaningful um, competition for the player. So the player usually ends up putting up a lot of checkpoints yeah this is what I'm talking about just look at this guy this uh, he's the only reason I've actually turned this way and risked losing this checkpoint but I still got it because I wanted to take a look what this cheetah actually does and this driver on cheetah he's actually just doing donuts right there in the middle of the boulevard it's kind of a shame Rockstar Games never went on to upgrade the AI for this kind of races Instead, they've just made linear races more, you know, more challenging, which is kind of cool in its own way, but I somehow, you know, I wish uh, that we uh, would have been getting more of these races in GTA, more of these uh, build your own route checkpoint races in GTA, yeah. 13 checkpoints out of 15. Could have been done better, but I've never done 15 checkpoints. I could have got the 14th checkpoint if I've used the smarts, but I haven't. Anyway, that's it. So, thanks for being with me, cats. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Stay tuned for more. Good luck.